Okay, we're continuing our top 12 driver press conferences here at Talladega, and Mark Martin's uh, been nice enough to come join us in the uh, Enfield Media Center. Mark drives the number five GoDaddy.com Chevrolet for Hendrick Motorsports. He's currently 10th in points. And, uh, Mark, uh, give us your outlook for Sunday's race here at Talladega. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I try not to think about it, uh, certainly, uh, you know, with my, uh, the last, uh, uh, several years I've been here, um, you know, it, it, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think it pays to even think about it. We'll just go out here and do the thing and, uh, not worry about it and not be concerned about it. Uh, last time I, I came here, uh, I was sure that I wouldn't, uh, being a wreck and I think I turned over so uh first time ever in my career so you know uh certainly don't want to turn over again but I'm not going to think about it just going to go out here and and uh and and see what happens um the racing has changed so much here over the years that uh you know um it's it certainly doesn't really matter everybody's car is fast enough uh, back in the day, you know, only about 20% of the field was fast enough to be a contender. And nowadays, everybody's is fast enough. It just all matters what uh, goes down at the end. So I don't really care so much how my car runs. I just want to be lucky. Okay, thanks, Mark. We'll take questions now from Mark Martin. We'll start right here and raise your hand. We've got a couple of wireless. Go ahead. Uh, Mark, do you love Brad Gilly, PRN? Uh, if I could jump ahead a week to Richmond, can you talk about the track, what you might like about it, what makes it unique in that it's kind of like a short track and a big track? It, it It's just I think it's a, a favorite of the fans as well as the drivers. Um, you know, it's uh, it, it's big enough that you can, you know, get out there and, and uh, put a lot of cars out there, and it's also got uh, great racing room on it you know the way the transitions and the banking and just the way it runs you can run different multiple lines around the racetrack and um it's uh, some of the best racing that we do all year so um uh it's uh it's fun it's it's fun to race at all right we'll go with mike tom and then kenny bruce mike embry speed tv.com Mark, let's jump ahead even further to the All-Star Race. You've had a wide range of experiences in that event. And uh, almost all the drivers talk about how they approach the race differently, drive differently because no points, that kind of thing. But you don't impress me as a guy who races. You race the same pretty much all the time. Do you approach that race differently too or not? The approach is different because the race is different because the length is different and the and the, and the format's different. You know, it's not, I don't approach it different because of any other thing you know, other than, you know, it takes different things to be in position there than it would a 600-mile race. You know, you have a different mindset and a different way that you sort of approach that kind of race. Um, this, The only thing about this race, which it still matters to me the same, is that it doesn't have points. But... If I don't do well in it, it bothers me the same as if I don't do well in a points race. But, you know, there is something to all that. I mean, at the end of the day, you can tell yourself, well, it was all, it was all in or nothing. And, you know, you might look at that race as, as all or nothing. I don't. I, I ran third there, I think, in the eight car and, and enjoyed that. You know, it was right there, could almost, re you know, reach out and touch – the you know almost was able to contend for the win, so you know I still take pride in in racing for a position there and getting the most out of you know your effort. So, uh, but a lot of drivers do have you know a little bit of that uh, weighing in on them. It's it's a non points event. It is sort of winner take all. There's still pride left in in being a contender even if you don't take it all we'll go to tom kenny bruce and al i'm mark tom jensen speedtv.com it's kind of a complicated question um as you get older do you find yourself measuring your success 
more against what you are capable of and less against what other people do. In other words, can you come home and if you got a third place in what should have been a tenth place car, will that give you as much satisfaction maybe as a win might have some years ago? It probably, it, that, that's a good point. It probably does more now than, than, than it did, uh, you know, back in the day. Um, back in the day, you know, uh, um, it felt like a little bit more uh, like it was all or, or nothing, uh, a little bit. Um, I just think that even more than, than that is I just think that the, uh, the more experience you get, which only can come with time uh, or age, that uh, the more realistic, at least I have become. I understand, I see and understand uh, things better now than I did 20 years ago. And, uh, you know, and I appreciate things certainly more than I did 20 years ago without question. So if, uh, if I take a 10th place car and run third with it, I probably appreciate it more today than I did 20 years ago. Uh, 20 years ago, I would have focused on why my car was a 10th place car. Why is it not a first place car? And, you know, and, and let that bother me where I might today think we did a good job today. Oh, by the way, we need to get better. But I wouldn't focus, you know, I wouldn't solely focus on well, why was our car so bad today, <laughs> you know. Uh, I think you understand, you know, I think you understand, I think I understand, um, uh, understand things better now. So, um, for me, when I look at a performance today versus 20 or 25 years ago, um, I didn't know, you know, I, I didn't know what I could do 25 years ago for sure. And everything looked different through those eyes than they look today. Than things look today, they look look different through these eyes, because these eyes have have been, you know, maybe cleared up. You know, I I just I feel like I see things clearer now. I saw things clear back then, but they were only that was a tunnel vision. You know, I think I see a broader picture of things today. <laughs> 